Okay friends, to get started on our mirror, one of the first things I like to mention is it's nice to have the window open so I have access to the mirror on the other side. After that, I'm gonna continue on with a nice plastic trim tool. I'm gonna to come in between this upper area here and try to pop this free. Now down inside here, there's gonna be one more latching point or push pin. We wanna essentially get underneath that and pop it away. To do that, it's gonna be a little bit easier with a fork tool that looks like this with an angle. I'm gonna come right underneath here and then just try to pop it out. Push down on this center tab and then try to draw this away from the mirror. I always check connections to make sure I don't see any corrosions. If you do, it's something you need to deal with. Now with all this out of the way, we have a nice clear view of our three mounting bolts. Let's go ahead and remove all three of those. Just remember after that, there's gonna be nothing holding the mirror to the door. Out to this point, you're probably gonna have to use a ratcheting wrench to get it out the rest of the way. Just be careful not to drop it inside the door panel, otherwise, you'll have to remove that. Now, for the last one, I'm just gonna hold onto that mirror. Let's go ahead and give this a wiggle and remove it from the car. So, now it's gonna be time to get our cover onto the new mirror, whether it's the old cover or even the new cover. Essentially, it's gonna be the same thing. You wanna pay attention to your little push clip areas and you wanna make sure that they line up with their corresponding holes on the mirror itself. So, once you feel as though it's lined up decently, go ahead and give it a nice little push in. Listen for a click and then double check to make sure it's all the way along the edges. This looks great. Now it's gonna be time to install our brand new mirror. Let's go ahead and put it in from the outside of the door. Give it a nice little press so it's holding in there. And then we're gonna start in all three of our mounting screws and then snug them up. Now let's go ahead and reconnect in this mirror. Go ahead and shove it in, listen for a click, make sure it's nice and secure. Now let's go ahead and get this back on here. Line it up with its little push areas. And make sure it's nice and secure. Now all you have left to do is go ahead and test the mirror. Put it on left, and then just make sure it functions in every direction that it should. 